His rock and roll hips were once considered obscene, swaying a nation of teenagers 30 years ago. Yet his voice and music are still very much alive. Elvis Presley would have been 50 this month. Today we'll visit his home, Graceland, in Tennessee. And there's a new friendship at the New York Aquarium between a mechanical robot and a California sea lion. And he's been called the most controversial mayor in the United States, the Muhammad Ali of mayors, and to some, the only mayor with a foreign policy. Today, a candid visit with New York City's Ed Koch. Jimmy Cacioppo was a dream come true to a couple who could not bear children. But through artificial insemination of Jimmy's mother, a family dream became reality. Our cover story, the controversy surrounding artificial insemination. Hello, I'm Paul Anthony in Washington. We'll have those stories and more today on Satellite File, an American looking glass. In one sense, Time Magazine's victory in the Sharon libel trial is clear and unambiguous. It will not have to pay a $50 million libel judgment, or any libel judgment for that matter, to Israel's former defense minister, Ariel Sharon. But if Time was expecting a unanimous chorus of hosannas from the journalistic community, it is in for a disappointment.